As you're preparing to, to serve in the Paraguay since your North Mission, probably the best thing that I can recommend to you is to read the Book of Mormon in Spanish out loud every day. Obviously, in, in that mission, you'll be speaking Spanish every day. And one of the best things, I think that's the thing that helped me most to achieve fluency and, and just be comfortable speaking the language. Um, and also develop the accent and just get your mouth used to speaking that language because it feels different than speaking English. Um, also study preach my gospel. There were a lot of missionaries, and myself included, at, at some points during the mission, I felt like Preach My Gospel didn't, didn't fit our mission, didn't, it, it, was, it was, I felt like it was designed more for um, a mission in the United States, where people acted a certain way, or where people responded this way to, to different things. But as I went through the mission, as I, I wish I had learned this earlier, that Preach my gospel is the word of God. While you while you are serving as a missionary, it is the scriptures to you. It was written by prophets, teaching you how to, the things you should do, the things you shouldn't do, how you should teach, how you should be a missionary. While the prophet of God tells you this is what you should do, you don't just say, well, it doesn't really apply in my circumstances. You, you do it. And I promise you that it will, it will work for you. Don't ever underestimate their ability to feel the spirit and to change and to desire and make sacrifices to come closer to Christ. Those people are good people. They need your help. But with your help, they can become the greatest people in the world. They have faith like I've never seen anywhere else, in anyone else. They're the kind of people that if you told them that the Lord wanted to wanted them to pack up everything, pack up their, their entire life and move across country, they would do it. They might grumble and complain, but they would do it. They're the kind of people that that when they're when they're worried about something, they pray and say, Jesus, give me, a, give me a nice dream. Help me to sleep tonight. And they would get a nice dream just because they, they have that much faith, that much confidence, that much assurance of who Christ is and how much Christ is a part of their life. And I've learned and grown so much just from watching these people.